Uh, hello folks, uh, back with uh, some reviews here. Uh, I got a couple th new things in the mail. I got this, uh, I think it's a B-Club. Yeah, B-Club bowl mark. I guess they were tied together at one point. But... This is King Strong. He uh, was originally, so yeah, the episode starts off where he um, he's like this other little creature that lands in a meteor near an apartment uh, building. It seems like Koo, 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 something like that. I don't know. Uh, but he's 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 like a harmless little creature. Um, Matt, the uh, kind of the old figure of this series, they're kind of paranoid and um, they're going around just like <laughs> killing monsters. Now, I, that series. Uh, they, they sure do kill a lot of innocent monsters. There are a lot of monsters that didn't deserve it in that show. But, uh... But, um... So he... They kill the little creature, and then they, um... Then the little boy finds the fragments of it, and I guess they mutate, and then it turns into this. Uh, so... But, uh, he's got, uh... You know, standard flame come out of the mouth. Um, he does have kind of a weird stick with his tail. He can shoot like a weird, like, a kind of lightning bolt out of it or whatever. Like, electro beam. Uh, also, if he flips over like a turtle, you know, you know how a turtle is like, oh, I can't get up. He, uh, he's got these horns and they can kind of turn around, they can move around and kind of flip them back over. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, but they all, when he's really mad, they go forward, so they point forward. But, um, uh, but he was also really just tough. Like you know, he could take several hits from uh, Jack's um, spectrum beam. But um, eventually, you know, of course, he gets killed. So, but um, so yeah, this is the figure. They've only there's only two releases of this: the '70s figure and then this one. This one was released in 2009. I thought it was a, I thought it was 1999, but yeah, it's 2009. And uh, they need to reissue it here soon because uh, these are hard to find. This is like it's been a couple years since I've seen one for sale. So I got a mandarin. So but it's got some, you know, it's got some paint. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some paint rubs on it and stuff. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, if it was really, like, uh, rubbed down on the, maybe on the shell or something, I'd probably maybe have somebody paint it, but, repaint it. But, um, his head moves, you know, 360. Oh, my neck. <laughs> and all of his little feet can move. And yeah, that's basically it. But he's got a really nice paint job. I really like it. Um, look at that. Nice brown and yellow for his shell. And silver for his horns. And it's kind of like a kind of like a teal greenish color with blue highlights. And uh, yeah, he's just a he's a really cool figure. I've really wanted one of these, and I'm right now I'm 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 about halfway done with my uh, Ultraman Jack collection. There's just uh, I think there's like 29, 30 ish ones that I want to get left, um, but they're they're all like the really hard ones, like Paragon, and you know. It's, it's like a four or five hundred dollar figure. It's like, mm, I'm not a big fan of the the monster. I'm not really a big fan of the episode. I like to collect um, monsters from episodes I like. Like I really like this episode, or like uh, uh, you know some of the other like real B monsters like uh, Alien Vardok, Prisma. Uh, I'm just kind of looking at my shelf here. Robonos, the rat, Robo Rat. I like that one a lot. But, uh. So, yeah, I'm just rambling now at this point, so.
Hope you enjoyed the review and stay tuned. I got a couple more reviews I'm going to do here. I'm just going to post them all back to back. Uh, so have a wonderful day and God bless.